Greetings and welcome back to Production Line. I'm Catherine of Sky, and last time we were making stuff in the factory. Thank you, um, and I forgot who it was, but thank you very much for letting me know that my uh, starter motor thing did not have uh, resources. I've connected it here, or almost connected it. Aha, I s did I miss the square? Nope, it's connected. It just hasn't arrived yet. Okay, great. So. Now these guys are complaining about no route to the stockpile. So radiators. These are adding radiators. Yes, we have radiator adding happening. Um, okay, so they found their, maybe they found their thing. I don't know. Let's speed it up a little bit, see if it's getting, okay, it's getting the resources and it's also um, getting to the stockpile. So look at this amount of stuff. There is a huge, huge uh, amount of stuff getting imported here. This is kind of outrageous, just slightly. I, I wonder, is there a way I could move this line to here and possibly get this connected this way? I think that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get our resource conveyor connected this way uh, instead of the other way. Uh, because that is clearly not able to supply this. I don't know if it's going to be any closer for any of these assemblies, but we can try. We can have a go. All right, let's make sure it is sufficiently far away from that one. Okay, let's do this. Conveyor. It's got to be at least here. Okay, cool. Okay, and more than enough space. That's good to know. Oh my gosh, and I'm running low on electricity again, which I can do. Let's see, is this going to start importing anything from here? This is connected. Uh, let's just replace it again. Uh, importer, go. Conveyor, connect. It may just be too far for any of these uh, things to get ordered from here, fortunately. So we have down to 65, 66. Uh, well, of course, there's the other thing that we could do, uh, which is to disconnect this part and just have this part connected to this area like this. So these guys will have no choice, but they have to buy from this importer slot. So let's see, is that, yep, there they go. There the resources are starting up. Good to know. Okay. So now these are complaining of no export room. That's just fine. So next on our list of stuff to do is wheels and then tires. And by the way, everybody who's complaining about that, <laughs> it's just part of the game. Yes, the wheels are fitted on and then the tires. Let me see which of these items we can make. We can make wheels, tires, and brakes. Um, can we make steering, steering columns or steering? We can make steering wheels, but not columns. Wow, there's a lot of manufacturing that needs to be done for this area. What I'm mainly worried about at the moment is amount of import slots. I feel like we should move this stuff. All of this has got to go. Uh, and I'm actually, maybe I should tear it down right now so that I can use these import slots. There's one there and one there. Uh, and those can supply the new, because we have, what, three different, four different things. We've got wheels, tires, brakes, and steering wheels to make. And this is just what we've got. One, two, three, four. This is four items supplied by two conveyors. How are they doing? Looks like they have, uh, are the slots going down? Yep, they're going down to zero. So looks like they're making plenty of um, items. So let's check these and make sure that they don't need anything other than what they're looking at. Tires, these guys got brakes, uh, wheels. Yes, they have their wheels. And what else? Steering columns, they need two. That's interesting, there's two radiators stuck in there for some reason. They just need one steering column, steering wheels, they need, oh no, these need, these need servos. Urgh. 
Okay, well, we'll make sure and have to put that uh, stockpile very near this mirror, hopefully, than the uh, importer. Okay. Oh, I hate to tear all this down, but it's got to go. We'll just have to redo the ratios later. And I think what I'll do is I'll have it go over this way. And we're going to have to carve a path through the research category people here. Uh, but it's going to be okay. Let's go ahead and add some more power. All right, let's go and put a few of these guys in here. Uh, power plant. There we go. Now we're probably going to need more. So why not? Let's just do a whole other row. You know, it would be nice if we could either save money by um, either like not running the generators, not consuming fuel, or uh, sell the fuel back to this, or sell, sell the uh, power to the city. That might be a fun thing to make uh, a little bit of extra money. We could have our power plant on the side. Could be a side business for us. <laughs> okay, so we have more power. Not saying we have it all, but we do have some. So I have been a total derp. There is a demolish thing here. You do not have to right click everything. Um, though it, it doesn't select a whole area, which is still, I wish there was like a selection thing, uh, but that's okay. It works well enough for now. And left clicking is generally, um, easier than right clicking. Okay. I don't want to get rid of all these things. Okay. Next slot not found. These poor cars are lost on their way to the world. It's a very sad thing. Okay. Now. Aha. All right. We have this slot, which probably I will allocate for whatever is produced over here. Now this one is producing or is um, supplying materials for looks like this side and this side of assemblers. So that's already overloaded, uh, in my opinion. So let's get um, let's get this breaks one out of here for now. Okay, we could actually put the tires and stuff on this side. That's not uh, an issue at all. I want to just see where do we want to put stuff because we, we could put the steering wheel and assembly here uh, and then otherwise we do have brakes and tires and wheels we could put brakes and steering wheel on this side and then the tires and wheels could be over here uh, and take from one of these import slots yeah I like that idea I like that very much okay so let's just go ahead and um, I think we can just shift click this yeah okay you don't have to have it selected that's good to know Okay, I'm just going to get rid of all of these bits that are not needed here. You know what? I'm just going to take the whole conveyor down. Just make it easy. Get the whole conveyor off so we can see what we're doing uh, better. Get things sorted out. Okay, now. Okay, wheels and tires, this side. Uh, these are going to be brakes and... Okay, brakes and these things, whatever these are. These are going to be uh, steering wheels. Okay. All right. So these guys need to be connected to this conveyor like this. And steering columns also need to be connected to that conveyor. go like this and I think I'll let this supply the uh, the raw materials for the next uh, in um, the next assembly parts and that should work pretty well pardon the lack of music I was just getting this spreadsheet up on top okay now breaks so how many breaks things do we need we need uh, wow 6.3 makers that is a lot dang uh, okay, so let's just go ahead and add our stockpile here for breaks. Or should I add it here? I'll add it right there. And then have, let's connect the brakes here. Just straight across. Like that. Okay, 
not touching these other assemblies at all. All right, so go ahead and get our brakes sorted out. No, 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 no. Aha, here we are, brakes. Make brakes. See what this looks like. Okay, so the in slot is the gray one. The out slot is the green one. So I think if we do this, that will be, no, I still need one more space. Oh, that's lovely. Oh my gosh, I love this feature. That it remembers what, um, yeah, that's cool. That it remembers which uh, orientation the factory was in. Okay. Um, you know what? Actually, this is not too bad. Okay, let's just do this differently. There, I was worrying too much because these guys, these conveyors can come out like this and then therefore connect like that. Okay, but this conveyor has to go like this and come across like this. Actually, I'll leave, I'll, I'll put it even in the extra thing. Okay, so we need how many? Seven of these things? Good gracious, it's a lot. All right, fine, let's get our brakes going. Brakes, brakes, brakes. That's one, two, three, four brakes. I can put that one there. One, two, three, four, and five. And how many steering wheel thingies do we need? Two, so that's not a lot. All right, resource conveyor. This cannot go here. Things make it very complicated to design this factory, but I suppose that's what we like, right? <laughs> All right. Um, I wish you could cross over and under conveyors. I really do. I think it would be a lot easier. Okay. So this one is going to go here. or not. Um, I feel like it has to go this way. Like that. <sighs> Shoot. It's really hard when there are no over under things at all. So I feel like I have to shift all this stuff back. I don't even know how this is going to work, to be honest. I have no idea. Okay, let's get another brake making assembly. Okay. Okay, there we have six. Um, and six may indeed be enough. We need uh, brakes, brakes, brakes. 6.3. But there are going to get speed upgrades at some point. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like that's okay, an okay amount. So that I think that'll work. Uh, let's go ahead and, and add brakes to our assembly here. So go ahead and have brakes be delivered here. There they go. They're all coming off the lines now, off the, um, the makers. And now we need steering wheels. Okay. This is going to be interesting to try to get steering wheels in here. We shall try. We shall do our best. Of course, if we can't fit it, we can always shove it down here. There's nothing stopping us from that. So let's go ahead and do that. It's under steering assemblies. There we go. Make the steering wheels. Wow, this is an interesting thing. All right. Hmm. So out is, no, in is gray. So we'll need to do this, uh, steering wheel. Actually, we could do it the other way, couldn't we? We could do it. No, 
in his gray. God. Man, my dyslexia is so bad today. There we go. We can place this here. Okay. Steering wheel. Put another one here. And then these guys can go straight up to the stockpile. Since we only need two of them, which is very good. Very nice. And I'm putting this very, very, very close. So maybe it'll work. We'll see. Okay. So you guys go there. We'll just go this way with that. All right. What are they ordering now? That looks really interesting looking, doesn't it? Maybe they need those things? Or those are? Huh. Oh, cool. They, they put leather on the steering wheels. That's very nice. That's very cool indeed. Nice. Still don't know what that um, green thing was, but we'll see. Okay, I think we're pretty good. Let's just add steering wheels to this uh, stockpile. Steering wheels. There we are. Have a whole thing of them. And so these should be closer than that import slot. Even though the import slot is very, very close. It should be just fine. Now here we need to make our brakes or our tires and wheels. So I, I have this entire area to do this in. So I'm feeling like this is not going to be a terrible frustration of any kind. I'll just connect these that way. There we go. Let's see how many. So let's look at tires first. Tires, tires, tires. We need 7.8 assemblers, so that's eight. And then wheels, we need two. So, yep, let's make room for those eight assemblers for uh, tires, tires. Yeah, tires. Make tires, there we go. Let's see how these are oriented. Um, let's get our stockpile going on first. Go ahead and add that. Add it right around here. And another stockpile for the wheels. Okay, so these are going to be tires, obviously. Oh, and by the way, a few people have brought up the idea of <laughs> that it's kind of confusing that uh, tires are not put on the wheels first and then you have to take them off to get the brakes on and all this kind of thing. I, I don't know if that will be changed, but right now that's just how the, way, the, the game works. So. We'll just have to deal with it at the moment. I must admit, I don't know much about cars, but they are lovely things. Um, okay, so there we go. We got that. Now, making tires. We need to let's connect our thingy, conveyors to the appropriate things. These guys are going to be green, which is going out of green for going. I like that. Uh, going away instead of going to. So tires. Uh, I don't want it there. Here though is ish. Okay. You know what we could do? We could put it right against the wall if we wanted to. Tires. Nope. Make tires. Come on. I'd really like a, uh, the ability to um you know, put down multiple buildings at a time instead of just, I think what we'll do is we'll just go through here with this conveyor belt. From there. There we go. That way we'll have an exit for our cars to go around. Okay, tires, we need eight of these things. Tires, tires. Make tires. Go. Two, three, and four. Boom. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ugh. We has run out of room. This is not ideal. Um, okay, we're gonna just shift these over a bit. Make tires. Can do this. And 
two. Make tires. And we need a one, two, three. One, two, three. Of course, we need to get those the wrong way. Make tires. One, and two. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I think this is what we want. Okay, the only bit is the squirrely bit. Hmm. Tires, it's gonna have to be there. Okay, that is actually better. Let's move these guys as well. No, not that way. There we go. I think we've sorted it now. This will make it easier to get these um, conveyors sorted out. So these are the in lines. Source importer, shove that in here, connect the conveyor to it. Okay, and then these are the outlines. There we go, we are finally doing it. Uh, and then this conveyor needs to run along the wall and connect this way. Okay, good. It's a bit squirrely, but I think it's working. Oh, what are those bits? So like rubber, sacks of rubber. Cool. All right. Well, we have run out of time for this episode. I think we've made really good progress. So we will construct uh, the wheels next uh, episode and also get the accessories done. And hopefully we can fit it all in our factory. I think I'm not too worried about it, uh, but we may have to unemploy some of these researchers or at least move them to a space that's more open like this. Uh, or we could just redesign the entire factory once again. <laughs> That's part of the fun of the playing the game, of course. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. I'm Catherine of Sky. Take care of yourselves and each other. I'll see you next time.